I'm Forrest Saunders standing near the state capitol. A recent cyber attack continues to hamper Florida's health department. That's as authorities say they are stepping up their efforts to try and find those responsible. As of Tuesday afternoon, Florida Health's online vital statistics system still in what it said was a, quote, temporary outage. It manages birth and death certificates, plus plenty more, and was locked down this month after what the department called an attack, quote, perpetrated by a criminal hacking organization. That alleged group, Ransom Hub, said it grabbed 100 gigs of Florida Health data and held it hostage seeking a large payout. Ransom Hub later said it released those files online on the dark web, allegedly compromising patient info for thousands. In a recent statement, Florida Health said, quote, any affected parties will be notified as a comprehensive assessment of the situation is completed. Also that, quote, certain systems were proactively brought offline to strengthen security measures. That likely includes vital statistics, which has hamstrung operations for Florida funeral homes. We thought it was maybe just a glitch, but then when they were telling us it was a hack, it was, it, you know, it was like, oh, my God, like, how can we go through this again? Some spoke to ABC Action News earlier this month. Funeral directors saying it's created a work backlog as they've had to certify death certificates manually. We used to tell them seven to 10 days. We're up to 14 to 21 days. Meanwhile, Florida Health saying a majority of the department's operations remain up and running. And while officials work to get back to normal, Florida's Department of Law Enforcement now investigating. In a statement, FDLE telling us, quote, health agencies across the world are facing this type of ongoing cyber threat. And FDLE agents are quickly and carefully investigating the incident to ensure the criminals responsible are held accountable. Our investigation is active. Now, yes, authorities are investigating, but oftentimes in these cases, it can be really difficult to prosecute the perpetrators, and that is because they are anonymous online and sometimes overseas. We'll have to wait and see what happens. That is the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.